Um, right, you're on. Okay, EG Innovations is a monitoring company that can help IT administrators prove that where the real problem is, and it's not really in Citrix or in the latest technologies like Zenserv or other virtualized infrastructure. Okay. So what we do is we monitor around 88 different applications, be it the Citrix infrastructure, virtualized infrastructure, databases, web servers, etc., networking elements. Mm-hmm. We monitor everything, and we go deep inside each of those applications. We be automatically baseline those metrics right. and correlate all those information and provide you the root cause. So you have the problem isolated before end users complain that to you. Okay. All right. Let's get a demo. So uh, this is 100% web-based tool. So I'm going to log in as administrator call Bob. And once a user logs in, he'll be looking at his part of the infrastructure. And uh, there will be a small window popping up, and uh, that will provide you the information on the different alerts. These can be integrated with your ticketing system, or can be emailed, can be uh, sent as SMS. So the main differentiator for EG is the service business service monitoring capability. When I say business service, if you take any business delivery model, there is no single server that delivers service to the end user. There are multiple tiers involved. So what we do is we look at the holistic approach. We look at all the servers, and we look at the collective service provided by all of them. So we, uh, EG can monitor the business service as a service. So we have one such business service here, which is having a problem. I click on it, it tells me what the service is, and inside that, you can look at the transactions critical for that business service. Mm -hmm. Transactions are something you can monitor on your web servers. What is the responsiveness for those transactions? You can monitor the real-time requests coming in, etc. So we are monitoring such transactions here. And uh, we see that there is 100% errors for user login transaction. So 100% errors should be a critical issue. EG is saying that this is not a serious problem. Because EG found that the real problem is elsewhere, and this is the effect of the problem. And the real problem is indicated with the red color, which is the critical state. So you can click on the critical issue, and it will take you to the component, which is, in this case, the Oracle server. And we use uh, this kind of uh, layer model approach for all the 85 different applications we support. This is based on the OSA stack which tells you that the layers at the bottom has to work well for the layers at the top to work well. Okay. So we click on the table spaces layer, which is uh, denoted with the color red, and uh, it tells us there is no space left on that specific table space. So let's see. Uh, let's take a look at the alarms window. That is the first alarm. So if you click on it, it will directly take you to that page. So we call this as single click root cause diagnosis. So what really happens is, let me just go back to uh, the service console and uh, show you what really is happening here. So what is happening here is, there is an application, Java-based application, running on Citrix. Mm -hmm. And uh, that is inserting records inside the orders table space of Oracle. And since there is no table space left, the application keeps spinning around and it takes up a lot of resources on the Citrix server. That is the reason other users are not able to log in inside Citrix. Right, because it's not Citrix. Yeah. So without EG, you'll have a critical alert from Oracle, one from Citrix, and one from IAS, because that acts as a front end. So instead of three critical alerts, you have just one critical alert, which is where EG finds the root cause and found out that these are the effects of this problem. And inside Citrix, you can look at the other alerts. You can see that this user, Kevin, is executing that application, and the application itself is a Java-based application that is taking up a lot of CPU. Even though you, you see the alerts, those are downgraded because those are not the root cause. Right. The root cause is the one you see on the top the red, uh, with the red color, which is the critical alert. Right. So you get the root cause before end users comply in empty. Very good.